Hello and welcome back to the Yagartua Art Chronicles podcast, where we explore the life and career of painter Paul Yagartua. I'm Ed Hoskin, and in today's episode, we will take you on a journey with Paul and Joanne through Europe on their first big trip. So, Paul, Joanne, last time we left you, you were off on the boat from Canada to Liverpool. Montreal. Yeah. Montreal to Liverpool. That's right arriving into those fantastic docks in Liverpool. And how was the boat trip? Famous, famous. I, I presume the boat trip wasn't as eventful as it was on the way there for you. Of course, yeah, I was seasick uh, a lot. Yeah, so I was just spent my time at the bar, yeah. you know. He did have a good time. <laughs> we won. The only thing, they had contests. The only thing I won in my life, I think, and it was the orange. We had... To dance, Ban- dance with an orange stuck between our heads. Oh, that one! That old chestnut. At the same time. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I think maybe and you we won. had a bottle of wine or something. Like that. I think we won. Yeah, we won. The only thing yeah, I've ever won. won, I think. <laughs> so you'd been when you were very small, but since then yeah. you hadn't been. So there you are. You arrive on this boat. Arrived in Liverpool. How did that feel? And what, what was your, what were your first memories of, of arriving in this famous, you know, uh, maelstrom of, of creative? Um... Well, I think every first of all there was uh, Paul. You know, he was yelling, "There they are! There they are!" And there his mother and father and Ramon. I'd never seen all these little houses like. Uh, we're going through the dark area. Yeah, the rough area, and she thinks uh, it's beautiful. And I'm saying, oh, 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 this is like cute. Walt Disney. Disneyland. I love these little houses. <laughs> and they're sort of looking at me. I must have yeah. been crazy. Like, these, this is the worst part the of the rough area. <laughs> so, yeah, for me, it was it was quite a thrill. I mean, I, in Canada, Vancouver, like, we didn't have a big population, and you know, it was quite sparse. When you go downtown, I mean, you see a few people. But in England, my gosh. And then we arrive, uh, you know, at Paul's house in the Wirral. Very, well, it's very nice. I mean, for me, uh, I love all the, you know, the old buildings, the architecture. So I'm mm. always fascinated with everything that's different. That's right. Paul, well, Paul, always, I always remember the... You know, I mean, we always had tea at our house, but you know, it's the British water, I guess, that's so perfect for a cup, of, a cup tea. of tea. Yes, <laughs> I mean, sure. you better like a cup of tea in England, right? Yes, yes. But yes. Uh, so it was a sunny day. I mean, again, we were May, and uh, I had a lovely cup of tea, and then you know, the famous back bacon sandwich, which I still remember, and uh, and Speaking then your bacon. friend, uh, what's his name? Uh, who had the um, Jag? Oh, my neighbour. He's a uh, Teddy Lewis had a Jaguar. So as soon as we got there, he said, "Oh, why why don't you come for a drive? I'll take you out to the Wheat Chief, which is a very old pub, which the is about, oldest in oh, the it's world. one of the oldest in the yeah. area. And uh, the horses used to tie up there, you know, the, outside from the fifteen so, hundreds. Yeah, so we go thatch. for a nice drive in the Jag out into the country, and Joanne. Uh, Got that, to see a little bit of the neighbourhood. Yeah, yeah it was, well, it was beautiful. Uh, but, but uh, yeah, we were lucky with Teddy because uh, he wanted to <laughs> show me the, you know, the, all these famous areas and, uh, you know, promoting the English, uh, British history and all that. So it was, fat, for me, it was fascinating. So Joanne was supposed to be going to Birmingham within a couple of days to actually pick uh, up her weeks, trunk. Yeah. Two weeks later. Was it two weeks later? Yeah. To pick up the trunk. Two weeks later. Yeah, she'd she'd shipped a trunk to her auntie in Birmingham. And so we were on our way. We had to go there to pick it up. And Joanne was supposed to stay there. And I was supposed to come back. And she was going to be working in Birmingham for a while. Right. So uh, we set off to go there. So we went to Birmingham. And uh, we got there. And her trunk was in the garden. (laughs) It was too big. It wouldn't. It wouldn't even fit through the door of the, this cottage. And I think I, I think I had all my suitcases. So, yeah, you had seven had suitcases anyway, besides the trunk. Because I'm thinking that uh, I'm going to be living. I didn't want to there. I thought, oh my gosh, you know, maybe I have to look for a job and be there for two months and then say I'm going to leave or something. But yeah, uh, yeah as soon as we got there, we decided we're not going to stay. 
Yes. But, so. Well, you know, my mother's family, like Paul's family, they were quite normal. Like my mother's side were pretty, pretty crazy. Eccentric right? is the word, I think. Eccentric. Yeah. And so I said to Paul, let's just say that we're we just, just came coming, to pick the trunk up. Yeah, just coming to pick up. <laughs> and they were quite happy to not have Joanne stay there. <laughs> yeah, I think they were just, <laughs> yeah. oh my God, they were. When they were I, praying probably that we weren't going to stay, and, and uh, so uh, the next day we, we stayed set up overnight. And went back to that's all. My mother's. We stayed overnight. We stayed overnight. overnight. That's right. And so, oh, and um, and so, you decided to go back to to base, as it were, and uh, and maybe get right. a job or or start thinking about what to do next from from the Wirral more. Well, our plan was we had four months back. In Liverpool, I work for Girlings. You work for the Lever, Port Sunlight Lever Brothers yeah, factory. So uh, then we wanted to go on to London, but uh, we Paul, needed money. Well, yeah. you had money. I didn't have money. But pa- so Paul, he worked nights, and I was of course working uh, the daytime. So I had dinner uh, with Paul's parents and Ramon. I I didn't even see uh, Paul to the weekend. So I end up feeling like I was a sister or something, you know. <laughs> we used to talk about Paul, how naughty he was and everything at dinner time. Oh, yes. My he mom wasn't and there, gave right? gave all the information about my behavior. And I said, well, you should have disciplined him even more. <laughs> yeah, I, was, I was working a night shift half the time. Yeah. So I was sleeping in the day and working at night, uh, which was good money. But, boy, but uh, then, uh, I fell asleep one day. While I was riding my bike down the hill. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Smashed right in the back of a car. Really? Oh my I fe- yeah, God. I fell asleep. Heaven. I just dozed off. <laughs> that was a little crazy. <laughs> so this was um, saving up enough to then go off to Europe after meeting the parents and everything. Pretty soon you went off to Paul's uh, ancestral homeland. Well, we first... First went, what, France, Luxembourg? We travelled hitchhiking, hitchhiking all the way from, from I guess, Liverpool, all the way through uh, we went to Belgium, f- Luxembourg, Switzerland, France, Italy, Italy back and then, to France, and then we went to the Basque Country. Yeah, then, then my Spain family and the are Basque in the northern country. part of Spain. Yeah. And so. we, we arrived there uh, probably finally in the Basque Country in the September. So we had like about four months hitchhiking around Europe, probably. Paul just, you know, showing me around. And uh, th- then the idea was we would go back to England and find work. And, uh, you know, first in Liverpool and then in uh, London for another four months yeah. before we went back to Europe again. And, yeah, and go for a longer period. And were you, was there any um, any painting or drawing going on at this time, Paul? No. Not much, just basically working, trying to get some money together to travel, you know. And how was um, how was London? What was the London period like? Joanne, what was London? How did that feel? Because um, Liverpool is one thing, but but London is is a, is, yeah. a, is a different kettle of fish. Well, yeah, it's a, another world. Well, I, well, you know, I loved everything. Uh, I even loved the tube stations, and uh, as I was always saying, you know, I just used to love. Uh, you know, going up the escalator and, and then you hear the musicians and then you keep going and then you finally get out and there, oh my gosh, is London, right? Mm. And my f- first job at uh, Dunhill's Bond Street, I mean, it's such a you know glorious area, architecturally uh, speaking, if you interested in buildings at all it's all there and you know the British accent and and my boss was pretty amazing he he was the uh, that perfect uh, so, sort of look that you ever imagined you know with his pinstripe suit and his bowler hat and, and oh, yeah incredible yeah and and then Dunhills you know it was the real 60s look with the hot pink shag rug and hot pink uh, stripes and maroon stripes, all the wallpaper. Retro. Yeah, retro. It was really something. And, and then, of course, we had Paul's friends. He had uh, two designer friends worked for BBC, and then oh. his other uh, two friends, Michael and Richard, were engineers. He's a civil engineer, yeah. So, so uh, they had a big, they had a big uh, place that they rented together, three of them. 
right in, in Barnes. Well, first, well, near Hammersmith. Hammersmith, Barnes. And Hammersmith and Barnes, that's right. Yeah. So we'd see them at the weekends and ended up going down King's Road to the Chelsea Potter and meeting all these crazy, crazy guys who worked for BBC. I met all the, oh, you know, the, what are they, Monty Python gang. Yeah. We met them in, in the Chelsea Potter because they always, there was always parties going every weekend. Well, so, you, yeah, you wow. go Friday. And you then, go Friday, uh, find out where the party, party is for Saturday. Saturday. And then all you needed was to take a, you know, a dozen beer and you got in the door. That was it. <laughs> wow. Because you really, I mean, you, you really hit London at a, a perfect time there. That was, I mean, yeah, it was six, great. 67, yeah. 68. Yeah. Great. Oh, yeah. And Bonnie and Clyde oh. were the fashion because that film came out, I think, around that time. Yeah, and Twiggy. Twiggy was oh, there at exactly. that time as well. So anyway, we hitchhiked and we got to a, a little town called Blanes, which is on yeah. the Costa Brava. And we went into a bar there and we met uh, two other English girls who were looking Kathy for a Denny. job, Kathy and Denny. And I ended up talking to the taxi driver because I was the one, only one who spoke fluent Spanish. Yeah. And I ended up, we got a place all together, the four, three of us. Yeah. Four Just of like us. that. V- very reasonable. Yeah, easy, yeah. <laughs> and yeah, they got jobs very, as well, and I got jobs. Yeah. yeah, not a great place, but <laughs> again, it was only 10 minutes from the centre. Cheap. So. Cheap was the word. Yeah. That's yeah. amazing. So you, you And you'd, you'd hitchhiked and just stayed various places through Europe to get to Spain. Yeah. yeah. So that was, that yeah. was, you'd done that before as well, so. You're pretty used to that. Well, so, uh, yeah, we t- did. We go straight from France. Straight we didn't to even Spain? get hotels in those days. We just rolled ourselves up in a tent well, at the side of the road or on a maybe every in a other hedge day or something. Or something. Right? The first night we got to Hastings after hitchhiking from. Yeah, Bumble, that was a bit much. And she didn't know where she was going to stay. And it was getting dark, so I said, "Oh, we'll just stay here." And it was in someone's front garden. Yeah, somebody's so front garden. So we just wrapped garden. the tent around us and slept oh my there. God. <laughs> <laughs> and then after we took the boat on the then other the side, there was a bunch of rocks. <laughs> then we slept on a gravel heap Gosh. the next night. I but was... it was cheap, right? No rent. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty well, we cheap, had, yeah. <laughs> there was... Well, I was I was used to live in rough, but Joanne uh, wasn't. You no know. cost. Of, I've, uh, I've slept out many, many times. No travel expense or hotel expense. No, no travel or expense. Well, we got to course, stay for free. That's maybe amazing. Maybe every yeah. few days, you know, we had... In those it. days, yeah, hitchhiking yeah. was great. And people loved it. They, yeah. they wanted company, you know, and... Uh, Sometimes they were going the long way. Sometimes they were just going a short distance. But mm. it worked out great. And because I had Joanne, I mean, they wanted to stop and pick us up, right? You know, it's like <laughs> no messing, right? <laughs> Me on my own yeah. would have taken probably longer, you know. You hid behind a, a, the hedge or something whilst Joanne... Uh, not quite, but no. I made sure she was visible. <laughs> so here you were, in quotation marks, off the boat. You meet uh, Denny and Cathy... And you shack up with them. That's right. In a in a yeah, in yeah, a flat. Four and, of us yeah. in a place. Yeah. We first got. I you got, got jobs. The three of them yeah. worked in a bar together. Yeah, the three of us g- girls. Who's that? Uh, Denny, Kathy, and painting. Joanne. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. And I started painting and selling my sketches. Ah, on the so front. so this is so we're at an important point here. I should say that really. This not, is actually when I first. Apart from Canada, when I first started sketching and selling, yeah. Yeah, so we're here in Sp- Now, just a little question before. Why didn't you... Why was uh, the Basque country not the target at this point? W- was that not... That wasn't the idea at well, all? Or no, because we're thinking of jobs and thinking... And there, wasn't, there would never be any jobs in the Basque country, I don't think. It's not like you're going to... Get out there and meet tons of people mm, who have got money to spend. After, no hotels, by the way. Yeah, there's there wasn't no any hotels. hotels in the town. Yeah, there was none. So that's why we chose a place that was a little more commercial, obviously, to get jobs. And yeah, the three girls had jobs, and Paul, yeah. was that pre-planned that you were going to start painting, or did it just sort of happen naturally? Uh, yeah, sort of. Yeah? Well, I, I ended up teaching a little bit English to a fa- rich family, plus I got a job in a nightclub. Uh, so I did that as well, but to, just in the daytime because I didn't have much to do in the day because yeah. the club was all at night work. Mm. So then I started sketching and going out and actually kind of started selling pretty good, you know, the little yeah. things yeah. I was doing. And know? what were you doing? Well, were you doing pencil or um, pen and ink? or? Uh, 